Hello everybody, this is Matt Cat Sphere, and uh, I'm here to upload a video. As you can tell, if I'm talking, it's about spirituality. Um, I want to talk about a specific thing about um, that the fact that the human race has um, forever to live. But we have, we can live forever. That's the thing: is that the human race um, has a power to go on forever and ever and ever. Now, um, the, the reason why I say that is because um, I'm referencing to uh, the dinosaurs and the prehistoric, you know, and the, the historic, you know, the other type of dinosaurs, the fuzzy dinosaurs and the dinosaurs before the dinosaurs. And, and the, the human race has the power to live on for like forever. The human race is like the perfection you know like I'm not trying to speak egotistically but the human race is the perfection of the of what God has created the um, I'm not too sure on the evolution things like that I don't know I'm not too sure on what God was thinking exactly but um, a lot of people can specify can like um, theorize on like what they feel is like going on you know with evolution and the Dor Darwin's evolution thing whatever how you pronounce his name and that how the dinosaurs died by an asteroid and all this stuff but God um, I'm not sure what he is thinking or what is going on but the human race no matter what what I'm trying to say is that the human race we don't have nothing to worry about the human race is basically we are the totality we God has you know if God was a painter or a craftsman or a sculptor which he, he is in spirituality he created he he hit his mark like he hit his mark with the people he hit his mark with the human race like he hit a home run with us and the reason is, is that um, the reason why I say that is because um, to get into it more deeper is that the um, God is not a specific form. He is not exactly a human. He is not exactly an alien. He is. He is. He is just who he is. Like what I'm trying to say is that is that God is just um, like you know how like a Futurama, like on Futurama where they have like this Futurama has done everything. Like, like they predicted everything. Like however Futurama is. Well, however they see things are is how it's going to be like, you know, besides that. The thing is, though, is that, you know, Futurama, they have this orb, you know, this magic orb where, like, you reach your infinite evolution where people become orbs, magical orbs of, of, of energy. Well, the thing is, though, is that God is not formless. He is just everything and anything. He is not a specific form. He is something that is in, that is intertwined with infinity and limit limitedness infinity and finite he is everything all together all combined and fused and the thing is though is that god hit a home run when he made us he i think that what god was going for was he was trying to create something that had some intellectual properties to it some uh, personal vendettas in a way some uh, personal selfishness some personal um some personal um progression he was trying to create something that was that was just that just had that thing you know that just had that thing and the human race is that like god is not is not something he is just everything he is not formless he is just everything he doesn't have a form and so when he created us, he created us, in, and the Bible says he created us in his image, but what it is is that God created us be, because he wanted to create something that had not only um, the, some physical uh, um, tangibility, but psychological and emotional tangibility that would, that would allow themselves to be able to um, think for themselves and to progress for themselves and to think and to um, 
to evolve and to um, develop intellectual and uh, personal um, things for themselves. And, and God, the, the, the thing is though is that God um, allowed to create us because he was trying to hit something. He was trying to create something that was more definitive. That's what God was trying to do. God was trying to create something that was just definitive. Like the human race, as a human race, we have nothing to worry about. At, um, we always look at um, we always look at uh, films and literature. And when we look at films and literature, when we look back at the history. You know, the dinosaurs got killed by asteroid and all that stuff. You know, like we always have asteroids coming at us. You know, like we dodged like maybe two or three asteroids in the in the last past six years or ten years like a lot of them just whiz by the earth you know like they could have killed us all but they didn't kill us and that's God's will because like God wants the, the thing he created to acknowledge that there's danger danger you know Danger, oh, you know, he created these people, these things, so that we, we can acknowledge and look into space and be like, there's danger happening, oh, there's an asteroid, we're all going to die, but we can't die, you know? <laughs> the thing is, though, we cannot die, is that we're infinite, even when you die, as soon as you pass away, whether you suicide, or if you get an accident, or if you die from old age, death is painful during the process of death itself is painful, but it doesn't... But it lasts for like minuscule minutes. And as soon as you pass away, y'all, you're all right. You're standing over your body. That's the thing. You're standing over your body. You're exactly the damn same that you are. Like you are not any damn different. That's what a lot of mediums and spirituals talk about is that you're not any different. So the thing is, though, is that God is that with spirits, we don't have to worry about like you know, the earth dying. But he hit a home run because he created intellectual beings, beings that that had the ability. We have the power to stop our lives. We have the power to stop our lives. Animals. Let, let me tell you this. Animals do not have have the intellectual properties to commit suicide. They do not. They do not have the intellectual properties. Have you ever heard of a cat committing suicide or a dog committing suicide? No, you haven't. But I'm pretty sure on Google, people have Googled animals committing suicide. But it's probably like, you know, like, like uh, birds crashing into the ocean or something like that. Or seagull or something or some kind of weird animals. Like, you know, but, but, it, but the thing is, though, is that the human race is the thing, man. We are the thing, like, we have the power to end ourselves. We can go on for billions, trillions, gillions, gazillions of years. We can go on and on and on. We don't have to worry about a damn thing. We have the, we're the ones that can end ourselves. The asteroids, I'm going to tell you this. I believe that the asteroids, there's not going to be not one meteor or asteroid that's going to kill us. We are going to kill us if we want to, if we agree as a mass race to kill ourselves. We have a power to do it, but there's not going to be nothing else that's going to do it. We are the ones that are going to do it to ourselves. And I know that a lot of human beings out there, they believe that it's true. You have the power. You, you can commit suicide and go right back up to heaven or wander around the earth and, you know, go around the universe do whatever the heck you want to do you have no obligations no worries you're going to pay bills no bills you don't have to work you're free 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 you don't have to worry about nothing but the thing is those i want to try to get at this video is that we don't have nothing to worry about as the human race we are you know how like when you drink alcohol and you do like drugs like i don't want to speak about drugs as negative you get like an ego high you know, you feel like you are on top of the universe. Well, the thing is, though, is that it's the truth. You are. So when you feel good, you are good. You know, you are egotistic. 
you know, you don't have to be egotistic. You don't have to feel bad about being egotistic because you know what? You are on top of the universe. God hit a home run. He made a field goal. He he made a you know he won the World Series when he made the human race. We are the end all be all. You know, we are the end. The human race is the end all be all. You don't have to worry about nothing, man. God doesn't need to worry about craving anything else. If there is anything else, probably there probably is other aliens or something like that. But the human race has a little, has subtleties, little bits, little bits that makes it superior to those aliens. Like with my own ego, I can personally say that whatever God has created around this huge mass multiverse, we as humans, we are it. We are it, man. We are it. We are it. We are the Michael Jackson. We are the Michael Jordan. We are it. We don't have to worry about nothing, man. We are it. We conquer all. So, the thing is, though, is that we don't have to worry about death. We don't have to worry about, because when you die, you're going to be a, When you're dead, you're alive. And when you're alive, you're alive. You don't have to worry about it. You're alive. <laughs> you're alive forever. But the thing is, though, is that as human beings, we have the power to end ourselves. Nothing else is going to end us. Nothing else. We have to commit suicide as a mass planet for for it to end. We have to. We have to do it. Nothing else is going to do it. God favors us. We are favored by God. Whatever he has created. We are the favorable. You don't have to worry about nothing, man. And we... We are it. So if you have a big ego, and you feel like you you know like you're you're a top dog or whatever you do, it's because it's the damn truth. We are it. You know. So this is Ricky Cespedes. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.